Anyways, um, here we are in Shrouded Hills. Let's explore the area a little bit, shall we? Hey, this gnome's talking to us. Asking about the IFS Sapphire. Uh, last time we told someone about that, they tried to kill us, so, uh, mind your own business, sir. Uh, and I told you I'd rather not speak of it. Good day. Yeah, maybe. I don't like him. I don't like gnomes. Let's talk to this guy. Who might you be? Doc Roberts, huh? I'm Lord Vega. Is there any work to be had around here? Hmm. Danger, huh? I'm not adverse to a bit of danger, provided the pay is right. Robbing the bank, huh? So what do you need me for? Sounds intriguing. What will you pay me for my help? Magic or scientist? I'm definitely a magic user. Technology sucks. Magical sword, huh? That sounds good to me. I'm intrigued by your offer. What would I need to do? I'll see you there then. So he wants us to meet him in front of the bank. However, we're not going to go there just yet. We're going to let him walk there on his own. And we're going to pay a visit to our new buddy, the blacksmith. We're not going to talk to him. No, no, not at all. Instead, we are going to save here because I might screw this up. And I don't want to face the consequences if I do. This icon right here, this is Pickpocket. Yeah, it's time to show that off. As you can see, the cursor changes into a little lockpick looking thing. Go over to our buddy Blacksmith, and... Hey, now we can see our in his inventory. We want this key. Drag it over to ours, and we failed. As you can see, the price of failure is quite high. He happens to be level 22, and we happen to be dead. So, uh, let's load the game, because that is not what I wanted to happen at all. Once more, let's try that again. Haha, <laughs> we got it that time. We just got the key to our buddy's bedroom. This means that we can, um... Hold on, let me first... I need to get my followers inside. It is done. No, Virgil, damn it all. Virgil, you are stupid, get in here. It is done. Thank you, okay. Now, here's a barrel! What can we do with the barrel? Well, if you hold down Alt, go into combat mode and click on the barrel, you start to attack it. We're gonna break this barrel open. Yes, what we are doing is currently against the law. We totally stole that thing, but no one can see us. The door is closed. He doesn't have any windows in his bedroom. You also notice that a Sogmed mug's taking damage. That's because, um, he doesn't have a weapon. But as you can see, this is pretty much the inventory of, um, the blacksmith. We just stole all of it. This is all ours now. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a nice little start to have at the beginning of the game. I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to, uh, steal all of this stuff, or at least most of it. And I will return. Hey, he's got a lot of money. I'll return whenever I have everyone equipped with what I want them to have. Be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, I've got some new armor on. So does Virgil. Yes, that's Virgil. Looks pretty cool now, doesn't he? I'd wear this, his armor myself, but it tends to give a pretty negative reaction toward people, so, um, I won't. Anyways, uh, let's help Doc Roberts out. Hey, Doc. What's up, Doc? I'm ready. Uh-oh. The Bowen gang are already inside the bank. I'm with you. Doc Roberts is not a permanent follower. Let's hurry up and kill these guys. This fight can be a little bit difficult, but since we got all of that nice armor and stuff, it's literally no problem at all. Aw. Oh. <laughs> you can rob the bank eventually, additionally, but I don't think I will be. I'm pretty well off financially after robbing the blacksmith. 
Yeah, give me my sword. Pleasure doing business. I must be going. He gives us a sword. It's a nice little sword, but personally, I prefer the axe. So I'll be sticking with that for now. Um, what else can we do? Should I do that one side quest? I don't know. Uh, yeah, why not? It's a nice little side quest. I deem it important enough. Just gotta remember where it is. Actually, I uh, don't remember, so I will pause and I'll be back. See you in a moment. Here is where we want to be. We want to talk to this guy. Who might you be? Beginning to sweat. Percival Tune, why are you so nervous? Here to kill you. Ghost of your mother, huh? Um, perhaps I can help. Reward of 500 coins, that sounds nice. Oh, we'll return here when I've looked into the matter. So apparently there's a problem with the mines. The mines are a big attraction to, um, Shrouded Hills. And they can't have a ghost wandering around, that's just not nice. So let's head inside. Hey, there's a barrel here. And it's a lantern! Um... I believe if you put the lantern, yeah. If you put it in your shield area, you get a nice little glow around you, but uh... No real need to do that, honestly. And there's a wolf here. So let's, let's go find that mother, the mother of, uh, Percival Toon. This is our first, uh, dungeon-esque area. You might expect this game has a lot of dungeon crawling. It has some, but really not as much as you might expect. Unfortunately, I don't entirely remember the correct way to go. Oh, this isn't the right way, but... Oh, crap! I got extremely close to dying there, did you guys see that? Wow. Um... Oh, but hey, there's some good stuff in here. Unfortunately, it's small. Armor comes in three sizes. Small, medium, and large. Large is for guys like our buddy Sogmead Mug, for ogres. Medium's for, you know, most of the average-sized characters. And small is for dwarfs and gnomes. Um... I'll probably pick up a dwarf buddy later on. Some of you guys who have played this game already know who I'm talking about, I'll bet. Oh crap, this isn't the way I wanted to go either. And we have a sword of spiders on us. And I just ran out of fatigue. Again, I fall down, but I'm back. Well, while we're here, there should be some good stuff around here. Let's check it out. Hey, dynamite. Dynamite is useful. Traps are not useful. It's annoying. But hey, we did level up. Let's use a point. Um, you can see our perception's a bit low. That's unfortunate. I will use the point in strength. Yeah. Well, Next time on Let's Play Arcanum, we continue searching the mines in hope of finding Bessie Toon, the mother of Percival. I'm Vega. See you next time.